All right, guys. Today, we're gonna to be trying out a product called Instamorph. These are moldable plastic beads. They say they are super strong. They're uh, especially just plastic. You put them in a pot of water that is 150 degrees. You put them in here for two minutes, and you're supposed to be able to take these beads and like, I guess they're supposed to be kind of like a putty or something. You can like form them into whatever you want. On the back of the package, they have a picture of them, of like replacing a, handle on a saw. There's a million different things. Like whenever you read through the uh, reviews on Amazon, there's like a million different things that people have said that they've done with these. For some reason, a lot of people have said that they've used these to like, if they get like a tooth knocked out, they've used this to make like a replacement tooth. Um, we're not gonna be trying that out. I have some stuff that I wanna try out and uh, I'm really interested in this super strong part because I don't know, something about it just kind of seems like it wouldn't be that strong and like maybe it wouldn't be made for like heavy duty applications or anything. So I'm really interested in the strength of this stuff. So obviously we have a nice pot of 150 degree water here. So let's try some of this stuff out. So we're just gonna dump these in. That should be good. Put a timer on for two minutes. And I guess we'll, uh, See what they look like in about two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. Let's scoop these things out of here. Okay, they're actually not that hot. Interesting. Oh, actually, they're kind of a little bit hot. Oh, oh, they are hot, really hot. Um, <laughs> how are you supposed to how are you supposed to mold this stuff if it's gonna burn you? Seems to be what they said it was. It's kind of like a putty. Kind of make whatever you want out of it. I want to do just test how strong this stuff is. It's kind of already starting to firm up a little bit, so I think you might have to like keep it warm in the water so that way you can keep working with it. So let's, let's do this. Let's make just like a like a stick. That way we'll, after it dries or hardens or whatever, we'll see if we can just like break it or just see how strong it is. And we'll do two more things. Get this second batch out of here. The second one, I got. I want to. Um, I want to make like a almost like a chain link, so that way we can uh, pull it apart with the crane scale, and uh, see how much pressure it can hold. I think you gotta kind of like knead this stuff a little bit, thoroughly mixed together. That is a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger than I would like. I think I'm gonna have to heat this up several times to get it where I want it. So far, this stuff seems like it's really easy to work with. I mean, you gotta keep it warm, of course, but I think that's a pretty good, pretty good thickness. And we can just kinda, you know what, we should probably heat up these ends before we try to, before we try to mesh them together. All right, and we're just gonna kinda sandwich these together, actually form together and don't just like you know, pull apart from the seam. There's a little chain link. Kind of thick, but I should maybe hold 50, 60 pounds or something. And we got one more thing I want to do. Looks like it's already dry, but that's pretty flexible. I hope that's not, uh, I hope that's not the final form. Alright, now this last thing. Very simple. <laughs> Come on. That's not what I wanted. This last thing. I... Oh, this is hot. This is really hot. Last thing we're going to do is just simply just make a ball. Oh, it's bouncy. So I'm going to let this sit, stuff sit. It doesn't really say how long to let it sit uh, once you take it out. So I'm just going to give it, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, and then we'll see, see what we got. All right, guys, so before we go any farther, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of today's video, Sunday. So what is Sunday? Sunday is a subscription lawn care service that helps you grow a better, greener lawn with mystery-free ingredients like seaweed, molasses, iron. So here's how it works. You go to their website, you put in your address, and they use satellite data and climate data to curate a lawn care plan just for you and just for the specific type of lawn that you have. So. Mine, you can see the two charts here. You can see that my 
soil profile, silt, sand, and clay. You can see the growth potential, the average temperature, rainfall. You can see that my uh, soil pH is low. So you enter in all your information. They look at all of your data. They see how big your yard is, so they know how much product to send you. So they come up with a plan just for you, so that way your lawn can be the best that it can be. They don't just stop there. They don't just go off some generic uh, geographical data. They actually take it a step further. And in your kit, you get this nice little bag, and you collect a nice little soil sample. You. Uh, put that in the bag and then you ship this off to them and then this way they analyze your exact soil so that way they can see what exactly what type of soil you have they can see exactly all the deficiencies everything that you need specifically for your lawn and then they curate the plan just for you and it's super easy everything gets shipped straight to your door in these easy to use nutrient pouches you just hook these to a water hose spray down your lawn and you're good to go. It takes like 15 minutes. So let's go outside. I'm gonna show you how easy this stuff is to use. So it's literally this easy. Just keep your nutrient pouch. They send you a spout. Take that off. Put it on there. And you just hook this straight to your water hose. And then once it's on your water hose, you just simply turn it on. And you just spray your yard down. It's that simple. And just like that, you're on your way to a brighter, greener lawn. So if you want a nicer lawn, it really doesn't get easier than that. I mean, it ships straight to your door. It's easy to use. So if you guys are interested, you can go to getsunday.com slash tylertube. The link will also be in the description and you can use code tube20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off. So these things should be dry now, which seems like they are. We'll save this one for later. This one doesn't look like it dried with much of a much of a crease or anything. It looks like that little joint we made kind of blended in. Let's start with this first. So this still has some some give in it. So it's not, uh, I mean, it's strong, but it's not like crazy strong. Let's see if we can break it. Oh, I think, <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna snap. Please don't snap. I think this might not be the type of plastic that snaps. Maybe it's just gonna bend. Oh yeah. It is, all right. Man, this stuff is actually really tough. I don't think you can break it. I think you're just gonna have to like work it back and forth until it finally, uh, finally gives away. Ugh. Okay, so that was actually way stronger than I thought. I thought it was gonna have like snap, but so it's pretty tough. All right, fair enough. Let's check out this ball. I mean, that's like, that is that is very solid. Let's hit it with a, uh, I think this is a 40 ounce hammer. I don't think that did anything. Literally nothing. Okay, maybe this will kind of give us a better, more sturdy surface. Let's try this. Come on. I thought this would have shattered by now. I mean, that's, that's pretty intense. That, that is, this stuff is way stronger than I thought. I mean, I'm hitting that hard. Well, this side, more of a pointed side. Man, yeah, there might be a slight crack. That is, that is crazy. Really smack it. built the bag. Well, good thing I have more than one bag. Okay, this stuff, this, this stuff is strong. This, uh, let's get the crane scale out. I did, I think this is gonna, I think I said this might hold like, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 pounds. I think it's gonna hold a lot more than that after seeing all this. All right, we got the crane scale set up. 
lot of you guys already know how this works. And the astute viewer will realize or will notice that I have a different uh, pulley system now instead of using the other pulley with the sledgehammer and the rope and it being all like really janky. I got an actual like hoist that way I don't have to like wrap it with the rope around a sledgehammer and you know, all that nonsense. Well, we're already at uh, three pounds. After seeing, after feeling how strong that was, I mean, I think we're gonna be somewhere around, I mean, 600 pounds probably. Also, this thing is very loud. Can't be doing that. You gotta be facing the other way. All right, well, I guess it's just gonna spin whichever way it wants to. Oh, I was already wrong, I think. Oh, I'm not getting kind of nervous. Something's gonna snap real hard, I can feel it. Oh, it's getting thin. <laughs> I think it's just gonna stretch. And 85 pounds. That's actually, uh, I thought it was gonna be more, honestly. I mean, this is a lot more than I thought it was gonna be in the beginning, but after feeling it, I thought it would do more than that. But uh, I think the, the stretch kind of limits it, but I mean, that's still, that's still crazy uh, impressive to me. 485 pounds, that's, I'm happy with that. All right, so we have proven that this stuff is strong and it held almost almost 500 pounds, so we know it's strong and durable. So now let's uh, let's do some more tests. So on the back of the package, it says that you can make a handle for a handsaw with it, and it should work. So I conveniently have a handsaw that does not have a handle anymore. So we'll be making a handle for that. I also have a hammer head. This is a three pound miniature sledgehammer head with no handle. So we're gonna make a handle for this see if it can, you know, hold it, see if it, we can actually like use it as a hammer. And then we're gonna do a third thing, basically have two hammers. One, I'm gonna make a handle for this head, but then two, I wanna make an entire hammer completely out of the plastic and see if you can just, you know, make a tool with 100% plastic and nothing else. So I think that'll be interesting. So we're gonna work on making a handle first. I already have a batch of this already ready. And I don't know if I said this in the beginning or not, but you can reuse this stuff. So if you see in here, two of the things are the sticks and the, the ball that we made, and I just melted them back down. And you can just, anything you make out of here, you can just remelt it and just do whatever you need to do with it. I probably should have thought this through a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is to kind of flatten this out and then maybe put it right here and then fold it over. It's gonna be just a little bit short. Or actually, maybe we can use this giant glob. Maybe this will be enough plastic. Ooh, that's hot. That is really hot. All that water gets trapped in there. This is probably gonna be a little bit overkill. I'm not really worried about that. If it works, it works. That will fit. That'll be perfect. And we'll kinda maybe start to curl this up a little bit. And actually what we'll do is we'll take this Get it warmed up again. Make like a little handle that will kind of just complete our little handle there. I'll we'll just kind of roll it up. That might be a little, a little long. <laughs> oh, this is, if this works, this will be pretty cool. I think that'll work. We'll keep it right there. There's your handle. Next, we need to make the handle for that hammerhead. And I think we're gonna need a lot. 
We'll let that warm up and then we'll see if we uh we'll see if we need any more. Alright, let's get this, get this behemoth out of here. The general idea here is we're just gonna kinda make a, a big stick. Put it through there and hope for the best. Whew. This stuff holds so much water it gets real hot. That might be <laughs> might be a little thick. Ooh, why did I do that? Ugh. This is uh, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I've had to stretch it a little bit. Oh, there we go. There, and I can kind of push that in there, and then take this. Kind of, there we go. That's what I wanted. Then we can take some scissors and just kind of Trim that off, kind of smash that down. I think that is gonna be a very sturdy hammer. A nice little miniature sledgehammer. I think this is gonna be really nice. I also just realized that I don't think, I only have two pouches left. I don't think I have enough to actually make my own hammer, but we'll do the best of what we got. Uh, actually that probably should be enough. All right, let's... <laughs> Oh, this is, this should be plenty. I think this is more than I used for the, for the handle and the hammer. Probably this much of it should be the head. And the rest of it can be the handle. I mean, I'm no model maker or anything, but pretty good little hammer. It's got a nice thick handle for dexterity. Two, two flat surfaces. I say we let that dry just like that. And I think in about an hour, I think we'll be in business. So every, everything is dry and I, I'm i impressed with the, the way everything came out. We got our, uh, <laughs> our saw here. I don't know, it feels a little bit weird, which I could have done probably a little bit of a better job and maybe crafted it a little bit better. But I mean, I think, I think whenever we try this thing out, I think this thing is gonna work beautifully. Both of these hammers, are especially this one is like this thing is solid i mean this is this is like going to be a very useful hammer this is going to be kind of like a uh, like the effectiveness of like a rubber hammer i would imagine because this thing is the, ha the handle is just solid which brings me to here this <laughs> this uh mini sledge hammer with the three pound head on it this is like i probably could have made the handle just like a little bit longer probably would have made it just a little bit better but this is solid. The handle is a tiny bit loose because I think this stuff, yeah, you can see it there. It's a tiny bit loose. I think this stuff kind of like shrinks slightly whenever it dries. So that the head is not as tight as I would like it, but that is like, that is solid. That's going to be a very useful hammer. So let's, uh, let's test out these hammers first. I actually want to test out this one. This is the one I'm the most interested in. So let's, uh, get just like some drywall nails. That had no problem at all. It didn't even like damage the face of the hammer. Way better than you would expect. That is crazy. Let's try, try some longer nails. Okay, now we're starting to kind of make some divots and peel some plastic back. These nails are a lot harder to get in there. Okay, that we're just gonna end up bending that. This thing doesn't quite have enough weight to it to uh, drive in big nails like this. So that's, that is just like chewing up the face of the hammer. Maybe it's not as heavy duty as I thought. I mean, it is made of plastic. Say for some reason, if you had a bag of those beads or a couple bags of those beads and you had warm water and you needed a hammer and you didn't have one, or you needed something like a, like a rubber hammer, but you didn't have one, I think this could make a great replacement. 
I think this would be really good. It's nice and solid. As long as you're not hitting anything too hard, I think it would work. Let's try this. I'm sure these little drywall nails won't be anything. As you would expect. Let's finish driving in this one. Maybe I just can't hit. Let's start a, start a fresh one. That works perfectly. That's exactly how you'd expect. I really, it's something I just noticed. It doesn't, it really doesn't feel that much different than like using a hammer with a wood handle. If I extended this out at this same thickness, it would feel just like using a, a wood handle. And this uh, plastic, uh, it absorbs a lot of the shock. So like whenever I'm hitting, even whenever I get down to the end, like I just don't feel, Sometimes you'll get like a, a metal a hammer that has like a metal handle and you'll get like a bad like vibration. Not with this at all. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I really like this stuff. Now let's go ahead and give the, the handsaw a go. I'm kind of worried about the blade slipping out, but on my super sturdy workbench, <laughs> see what we can do. I don't know if it's the the wood the handle i don't know why the blade keeps trying to like bend that could just be me I think that was mostly just my technique because I'm a, not a professional wood sawler, but uh, if you were stuck in a situation where you your handle broke or something, and but for some reason you had this and some hot water, you could 100% make yourself a handle, and that would be that would work fine. That is that is actually really good. All right, one last thing, we gotta actually put this thing through. We gotta actually test this thing and, and do something hard with it to make sure it's gonna hold up. So, it's been a while since we smashed the cinder block. Let's get to it. I'm gonna hit it right here in the middle where this support is. Okay, that's not exactly what I expected. I didn't think it was gonna de destroy it with like one hit. I broke a cinder block, but I do not remember them breaking this easy. This thing just like mows through everything. Okay, well, I did not think that was gonna be that easy. I do not remember cinder blocks being that easy to destroy. This thing is literally the exact same. Nothing, <laughs> nothing's changed. This thing is extremely durable. All right, so as it turns out, this stuff is exactly what they said it is. It's super strong. It does exactly what they say it'll do. We made the the handle for the saw, I mean, the, the possibilities with this stuff is legitimately endless. You can, anything you can mold with your hands, you can pretty much make with the stuff. Um, this is just like the stuff that I thought of off the top of my head for this video. Um, but I, I wanna do more stuff with this. So I know that you guys are gonna have a million ideas of things that you wanna see me do. So please leave all those suggestions in the comments. I wanna do more stuff with this. I really like this stuff, it's cool. And I want to do other stuff with it. So leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.